All right, here's what we have going on today, um, Monday, December, December 7th. Systems of equations, so far we have worked on solving by graphing, solving by substitution, and now the final one today, solving by elimination. The purpose of this method is to get something to eliminate, hence the, the title, elimination. Eliminate, when we say eliminate, we just simply mean getting something to cancel out by equaling zero. So, you need either the x's or the y's to cancel out. It doesn't matter which term, okay? Here's one option. If your terms match, then you're going to go ahead and subtract those equations. So, take a look at this example here. This is how they'll look stacked up. You take a look, you got your x terms, you have your y terms, and then your constant terms. The constants don't, don't count. Remember, back up here in this line, you need either the x's or the y's to cancel out. So here, we've got matching x's. That means we need to subtract them. So I start that process over here. I just stick a minus sign out front. Now you're going to go through and you're going to say each term, 3x minus 3x. That equals 0, so that canceled out. Negative 2 minus 3. Again, negative 2y minus 3y makes negative 5y. You gotta be real careful, don't forget about that minus sign. A lot of people are gonna look at this and say negative two plus three. Mm -mm. Don't forget, you're subtracting them. Negative two y minus three y, negative five y. Zero minus negative 15. There's that little double negative situation, so that's like saying zero plus 15. So zero plus 15 makes 15, and then you have this new equation right here. It's a one-stepper. Go ahead and divide by the negative five, you're going to end up getting y equals negative 3. Turn around and plug that back into either one of the original equations. It doesn't matter. Honestly, I like to pick the one that has the easier numbers. Usually I'll say the smaller numbers, but in this case, each term has nothing that's really a, a whole lot different. So I end up picking something that's easier. I, I like this one because it has a 0 in it. You know, it, it would work out either way, though. For those of you that are wondering, you could plug it into this one, this one, that, you know, doesn't matter. So I take the negative 3 and I plug it back in. I chose this one with a 0, and I work that out right down here. I replace my y with the negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, positive 6. And then I have a two-step equation right here where I subtract the 6, and I get this new equation, the one-stepper, divide by 3, and x equals negative 2. And so those are your two answers.